Hey y'all, uh, Dr. Jovan Hill here today at the Way Tract in Thomas County, Georgia, just outside Thomasville. As you can see, uh, we're standing in uh, some old growth longleaf pine savanna. Um, this is uh, privately owned, I think, by the Wade family and is managed by uh, a lot of the staff at Tall Timbers Research Station, um, uh, who conducted a lot of biological research here over the years. Um, something kind of interesting here, uh, this, this short little uh, longleaf pine, it's a young longleaf pine, but there's an eastern lubber grasshopper kind of tucked up in here. I don't know why she's in here. Maybe she came up to roost last night and maybe got stuck a little bit. But uh, this is uh, an eastern lubber grasshopper, Romalia microptera. It's the largest species of grasshopper we have in the eastern U.S. And uh, they, they don't fly very, they don't fly at all. And they're kind of slow moving and uh, the way they're able to to exist that way and avoid predators is that they actually sequester plant toxins in their body and if you make her really mad she can start emitting a foam and a, like a froth out of her spiracles that actually is poisonous um and you can see here she actually has some aposematic coloration this red and black uh she can actually flash these when she gets really angry and that would let a let a predator like a possum or a raccoon or a bird or something no, hey, I'm poisonous, don't eat me. Uh, and if they did eat her, they would get uh, pretty sick and probably throw it up and feel really bad for a while. Um, been a lot of studies on that, actually. Um, but that's the way that these guys have been able to evolve this large size is that they uh, uh, can escape predation just through uh, being poisonous. Um, very slow moving. This is probably the, the grasshopper I get the most questions about because they'll pop up in people's yards sometimes or their gardens. And people really don't like them because uh, they, they can eat their, their crops, uh, yard plants. I've had somebody call say that uh, they were eating caladiums one time. Um, but uh, they're really cool organisms. And if you just enjoy them and watch them, uh, I think your plants will recover pretty well. Obviously, if you're in your garden, you may want to just pick them up and move them somewhere else. They'll, they'll usually stay there fairly well. Uh, but enjoy them. They're really interesting creatures to watch. Um, but yeah, some of the... Um, some of our amazing southeastern biodiversity here, um, here at the Way Tract. See you later.